in this case now 74 to get a touchdown. Now threat just hangs over this game, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. And you know, you start gambling defensively, and he's the type of guy that can really hit you with a home run. He's hey, what I like about him when we talked to George O'Leary about him yesterday. Said when he came in as a freshman, he tried to outspeed everybody. You know, he's a he's a fast back that likes to hit the hole fast. As he's matured, he's slowed down. He's become more of a patient runner, and you kind of see it as he just slides in the backfield, allowing the blocks to take place up front. And then he's got a gear to really hit and get himself through the hole and into the, into the second level of the defense. Right, nice footwork that time. The hop to the hole and maybe to the end zone. And Roberts grabbed the face mask. It didn't even stop him. Touchdown! The flags, there's two flags on the field. We saw the face mask. Yeah. We'll see if there's any other penalty. Let me tell you something. You're witnessing one of next year's Heisman front runners early, right now. He's auditioning. All he's got to do is come back to the University, to, to Central Florida, to UCF. And he's going to be on everybody's Heisman list. There's no way you can deny that young man of that. And as they line up for the extra point, you see what the call is going to be. Four touchdowns for Smith. And trust me, I'm not one to pass out those type of compliments No, I would early. think not. Not waiting, especially not this early, but this is a talent that you're getting a chance to see this afternoon. <laughs> oh, that's one of the great signs <laughs> I've ever seen right there. <laughs> oh, that was a 74-yarder, and it is the largest lead of the game for the home team in this one. The Eastern champions are in control as we go back to Connecticut and Reese. Dave, the last mile story has done an about 